today's question is to evaluate these two integrals. As you can see, these two are very simple questions. So today's video is just to help you understand the general procedure about how to solve such integral questions. Okay, now let's take a look at the first one. Integral from 0 to 1, 1 plus it, the whole part square dt. So first, we know we need to open the square. So the equation is equal to integral from 0 to 1, then 1 minus t square, because i square is minus 1, and then plus 2 times i times t, the whole part dt. And then the next, we need to find the antiderivative of each part within this parenthesis. So 1, the antiderivative is t, and minus t squared, it should be minus t cubed over 3, and then 2it, the antiderivative is i times t squared. And the next step, we just need to substitute using 1 and 0 individually. So we have 1 minus 1 over 3 plus i, and then minus 0. Because when we substitute 0 to t, the whole part is also 0. And then we just do the simple math. We can get the final result, which is 2 thirds plus i. Now let's take a look at the second question. So basically, we just follow the same procedure. First, we need to open the square. It becomes 1 over t squared minus 1, because i squared is minus 1. And then times 2 times 1 over t times i. Next step, we need to find the antiderivative for each part within the parentheses. So 1 over t squared its antiderivative is minus 1 over t. And then minus 1, it should be minus t. And then the third part, minus 2i over t. We know 1 over t, antiderivative is ln t. So here, this part, its antiderivative should be minus 2i times ln t from 1 to 2. And next, we just need to substitute using 2 and 1 individually. And then we do the simple math. We can get the final result, which is minus 1 over 2 minus 2i times ln 2. That's it. So now let's take another look. When we see this question, we need to simplify the equation first and then find its antiderivative for each part. And then we just substitute and do the math. 